Hello, this is Jacob from JJDJ Tech, and today I'm going to teach you about the assistive touch feature for your iPod Touch. Okay, so you see this little button that I'm moving, like I kind of just threw around the place? Well, that's the assistive touch button, and what you do is you can click on it, and it gives you four options. Favorites, which comes with pinch, and gestures, and it gives you like two finger gestures, three finger gestures, four finger gestures, and five finger gestures, which is really hard to do on the iPod. It gives you your device options, which I think is the most useful part. You could do volume up right from here, or volume down, in case your iPod, like, volume buttons are broken. This is, that's what this is mainly for, if, like, buttons are broken. Uh, you can go right to your lock screen right from there. And, uh, you could also just, there's a home button, which kind of lags sometimes, but it's fine. And, so, like, the home button, you can pretty much do anything a normal home button would do. Like, you can double-click it, and it'll go to your... Uh, recent apps, triple click it, and it'll do whatever you set as your triple click. Um, yeah, so, that's that part. And, let me show you how to get this set up on your iPod. Okay, so you're going to want to go to General, and then you're going to want to find, um, Accessibility. And you're going to look for Assistive Touch, and you could have it on or off. I have it on, as you can see, and then you could create gestures, which I haven't really played around with yet, so I'll make a video when I figure out how to create gestures, but that's pretty much the assistive touch thing. All you have to do to turn it on is settings, general, accessibility, and turn the assistive touch on. Thanks for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed. Comment, rate, subscribe.